Hey guys, it's Kristen. Today we're in the Keys and I'm here with Chris from Irie Island Eats and he's gonna show us some awesome local dishes. So what do we got going on? Well, today we're gonna have some curried cilantro deviled eggs with potato crisp on top. We're also gonna be doing a fresh yellowtail filet with a pineapple cilantro rice, a fresh fruit chutney on top, and grilled moringa pods. That sounds amazing. So what are we gonna start with? Well, what we're gonna start off with is we're gonna start off with our curried deviled eggs. We actually have a fresh organic local eggs from Keys Cable. Um, from our chicken coop there, and we hard boiled these. What we do is we take the egg yolks, we mix the egg yolks with a curry mustard aioli that we make, and you whip it real nice and fine, that way you don't have any chunks of yolk in there. And then basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna chop up our cilantro. What we do is we're gonna go ahead and take our filling that we've made, we're gonna pipe it right into our deviled eggs. Top with some of our fresh chopped cilantro. Take some of our potato crisps and we're gonna break them up a little bit fine. And sprinkle those right on top. Um. A little bit of crisp, a little bit of texture. And that's our curry deviled eggs from Irie Island Eats. Nice, that looks delicious. Thank you. All right, so now we're gonna move on to our fish dish. So we're gonna start by making our fresh fruit chutney. Traditionally, chutneys are cooked down, they're hot, the fruit's cooked. We actually use a raw fresh fruit that we clean and that's our, our version of our chutney that we do. We're gonna get start off with cleaning a pineapple. So you basically want to cut off the bottom, cut off your top, and then you lay it flat on its bottom, and you can start by cutting the skin off. Don't want to go too deep, as you don't want to lose a lot of the meat on the pineapple. Mm -hmm. So you want to go deep enough to make sure you get all of the skin, most of the brown bits off. Then what you do is you cut your pineapple down the middle. Then you will quarter it down the middle. And then the middle is a spindle here, which is the part that's the harder part that typically people don't eat. What you can do is you can cut straight down, cut that piece off. Okay. Then you have yourself a fully cleaned piece of pineapple. Nice. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut it into more of chunks that'll fit on your fork. It's going to stay on top of your fish. Now we're going to move on to a fresh mango we have here. Cut the ends off this as well. And we just skin it in the same manner. Now when you have your mango, your mango is usually shaped long on one side and short on the other, which is usually the same way that the pit runs. So okay. once you have your bottom flat, you leave your mango there and you would cut long ways along the side. We're going to chop this in a sizable manner that'll stay on your fish and on your fork. Okay, easy. All right, and last but not least, we have a papaya. We grow a lot of papayas in, in the Keys, lots of papaya trees everywhere. And if you don't feel comfortable with skinning it with a knife, you can always use a peeler. A peeler will do the same Okay. for the mango and for the papaya as well. And now the papaya's got lots of small seeds on the inside. So what you do is you can cut this and you can use these for mm -hmm. your compost and your gardening. Or what you can do is you can actually take in, a lot of people make a papaya seed vinaigrette out of it. Oh, actually, nice. Actually, what you do is you grind up the papaya seeds and it turns into what, almost like black pepper and they make vinaigrettes with it. So basically what I use, I just use a spoon to remove the seeds from the papaya. There's one other small piece right at the top to remove. And then you can go ahead and cut your papaya. So you're cutting it long ways. I cut this one long ways, that way I can get even sized pieces. So now for the sauce. What I make is I make a sweet chili sauce, basically composed of fresh garlic, uh, fresh crushed chili peppers, sugar, vinegar, and water. And then what I do is I mix my fresh fruit with this. It's kind of like a sweet and spicy. Yeah, exactly, mm. yes. And lastly, what I mix in with it, some nice fresh scallions. Give this a good stir. And then this will be our topping for our fish. Today we have a fresh yellowtail snapper. This is a locally sourced, sustainable fish that we have here in the Florida Keys. Uh, very sought after in the, in the snapper species. So we're gonna go ahead and fillet this up. Let's start by filleting behind the head, behind the pectoral fin. I like to fillet my fish long ways down the spine, one side. Then I move to my other side. So now what we do is we're going to skin the fish. So hold the tail back here. Put your knife between the meat and the, and the skin. Lay long ways. Lastly, what you want to do is you want to remove the pin bones in the top. And you want to remove the belly meat with the belly bones. There's a fresh filleted yellowtail snapper. All right, and now for our vegetable, we're going to be doing fresh grilled moringa pods. The moringa tree we actually grow here at Keys Cable locally. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna grill this almost like asparagus. It's gonna eat very much the same way. Remove the ends of it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my moringa 
pods and my fish. I'm gonna put a little oil on these to make sure they don't stick. I always try to season all of my food when I'm cooking. Some simple stuff like usually salt and pepper always. I'm gonna go over to the grill. Okay. Go ahead and put it on and start there cooking. Go. Okay, now when you're grilling, you have to make sure that your meat cooks thoroughly through on one side and it will actually unstick itself from the grill. Especially when you're using fish like delicate fish like yellowtail snapper mm -hmm. stuff like that. So. so how do you know when a side is done on the fish? Generally what will happen is the sides of the meat will start to turn white and opaque and then that'll be about time for you to flip it. Okay. And also it will we'll release itself from the grill when it's ready to be flipped as well. Our fish now is looking pretty white around the edges. I think it's going to be about time to flip. As you can see it came off fairly easy. So it has our grill marks. Nice. Now when you go to the second side on your fish, you don't want to grill it for too long as it'll fall through the grill. I actually like to undercook my fish just a tiny bit because it actually will still hold the heat when it's, when it's done cooking. It'll finish itself off and keep it nice and juicy inside. Go ahead and stick this on one of our palm leaf compostable plates. Take our Moringa pods here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut these in half. I like to leave them whole when they're on the grill because it's easier to flip one piece rather than two pieces. Mm -hmm. Then when it's done, I'll go ahead and cut these right in half. Top this with our fresh fruit chutney. And last but not least, we have a fresh pineapple cilantro rice that we have cooked here. You're going to do half pineapple juice, half water, fresh pineapples in there, and a little bit of salt. You're going to bring your water to a boil and cook your rice as usual. Put some fresh cilantro on top and mix it very well. There's our fresh yellow tail <gasps> meal. Yum, now that is an island dish. Absolutely. Well, thanks so much, Chris. This looks so amazing. And be sure to click that subscribe button so you can check back on our next episode as we make some rum cocktails that will pair perfectly with this meal. See you next time.